So I'm here today with Dee Brown, our manager of marketing, and uh, we're here to talk about taxes. taxes. As I run around town, as I'm sure you're learning as yeah. we run around town, that the number one issue decade after decade, um, while there may be times when other issues may percolate, but the one thing that's constant, um, the beginning of almost every sentence when somebody yep. calls me is, for the amount of taxes I pay, yep. and then they ask what the question. What do I get, and exactly. why do I have to pay so much? Exactly. exactly. So what I was hoping to do is to put together a series where we could be talking about uh, and learning about how property taxes uh, um, are derived here. And it's yeah. a pretty meaty topic. So mm -hmm. I, I wanted to break that down into different segments. So today we'll be talking about how to read your tax bill, because yeah. it's a lot that's in that bill. Mm -hmm. And then the next segment we'll be talking about uh, how your municipal taxes are used, because that's really only a small yeah. portion of the tax bill. Mm -hmm. uh, then I think a little bit about the history of taxes and how we got to this point and some of the constraints, caps, things that we as a township need to work with. And then finally, um, after we've gotten all of that understood, I think we're in a position to talk about why taxes in New Jersey, uh, compared to a lot of other states, is relatively high. All right. Sound fair? Sounds fair. Let's do it. All right. So the first thing I want to do is actually um, pull out a tax bill. And for those of you that are watching, this would be a great point to maybe put the thing on hold and actually take out your tax bill yeah. because we're going to look at the bill and break it down into its mm -hmm. parts. And section so, by section. Right. So we have one in front of us um, and it may seem like a simple process, but it, it, it is, there's a lot behind it. And for many people who uh, own a home and have a mortgage, they really don't take a good look at this all the time because their taxes are escrowed. The bank takes right. out regularly what it needs. And so the only time you really look at the bill is when you get a bill sent, the, the yearly bill sent from the town, which doesn't come out usually until the third quarter, July or August of a year. Yeah. Uh, and then they park it in a file and uh, the taxes are being taken out for them. So this is a chance to really look at it in, in depth. Yeah. Sound fair? Sounds good. All right. So the first thing that I, I think everybody needs to understand when we talk about property taxes is that the municipal government, the township's obligation is to send bills out for all the taxing bodies in the area short of state and federal taxes, right? Yes. State and federal taxes right. you pay to, to the, the state, state and to the federal, federal government. government. Um, but the town has the responsibility of collecting taxes not only for the town, but for the schools, for the county, mm -hmm. for the fire districts, for uh, the library. And then we collect it and then send it out to each of those places. We have no control over their budgets. And so to understand how their budgets are derived, uh, what we uh, look at is, and I'm sure we'll have up on the screen, each of these different agencies determine their own bills. Okay. So the township, um, at the beginning of each year, the mayor is responsible for working with all of our departments, mm -hmm. figuring out what the budget's gonna be for the year. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately, once I've compiled all of that, it goes to the council, and the council approves it. Okay. That doesn't it. mean it's done. No. No. The bill then, uh, and those, that, budget now gets sent to the Department of Community Affairs, which is a state agency, mm -hmm. and they work with the town to make sure that everything is statutorily correct. We work on a uh, fiscal budget that goes from January to December, yeah. and even though we're already in the year in which that budget's being compiled, we begin the year in a temporary budget until it's approved. Got it. Okay. Um, and then the uh, DCA and the township work on making sure everything's statutorily What's correct. What's the DCA? Department of Community Affairs. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then once they've approved that budget, it gets sent to Middlesex County Board of Taxation. Yeah. County does the exact same thing. They work on a fiscal year. They determine the Board of Commissioners, determine their budget, sent to the DCA. They go back and forth to make sure it's statutorily correct. Mm -hmm. And then it gets sent to the Middlesex County Board of Taxation. Schools are a little different. Yeah. They actually work on a June to uh, a July to June uh, following the school calendar, yeah. and their bills and their budget gets approved ultimately by the Board of Education and sent to the Department of Education, mm -hmm. not DCA. Mm -hmm. They again go back and forth, making sure that the bill is statutorily correct, and when they agree on it, it gets sent to Middlesex County Board of Taxation. 
Fire districts are a little bit different because their voters vote every February on their budget. And once it's approved, it, their, their bill gets sent to the Middlesex County Board of Taxation. When Middlesex has finally compiled everybody's bill, they strike the tax rate. And you'll see from the next slide that they certify everybody's tax rate. That's what this form is here. Yeah. And that uh, you can see last year there the 11.46 was the tax rate that got compiled based on everybody sending their bill in to Middlesex. The only thing that matter uh, that changes is that in East Brunswick we have three different fire districts. Mm -hmm. So there's an addition that's put on to the 11.4 based on which fire district you're in. Got it. Right? Mm -hmm. That becomes the, the tax rate. So as we go back to the bill that you see, and this one's a, obviously we've taken out any personal information, but if you look directly under the uh, identifying information on the left-hand side, you'll see a area that says assessed valuation information. Yes. Right? Yes. So if you look, there's two different things that compile the total value of your property. The land itself, mm -hmm. and then what we call improvement, which is almost the always house is your house. Property. Right, yeah. exactly. And that becomes the total uh, assessed value on which you're being taxed. Correct. Now, in East Brunswick, we tax on 25% assessed value, which means that the person's actual value in this bill probably is somewhere around $240,000. So four times the figure that we're seeing here. Exactly. Got it. So that's the number on which you're being taxed. So the, the next thing then is, of course, you take the tax rate, which is the, in this bill, the 11 point six mm -hmm. uh, tax rate, and you multiply 11.6% uh, of the $61,000 is how that person's total tax bill of 7,100 was compiled. Now, in the event in which the township had to go through a revaluation, re yeah. right, a revaluation basically means that everybody's assessed at 100%. So if we were ever forced to have to do that, then assuming nothing changed with the value of your house, the $61,000 would go up to 100%, which mm -hmm. means it would be 240000 mm -hmm. but the tax rate in which you're b being charged would be dropped by, by divided by, by four. four. Yeah. So the end number is going to end up being... It's going to net off being exactly right, the same. Exactly the same. Yeah. The only time that it really hurts somebody is if you know that your house is valued at a lot more money than what we have it yeah. valued at. Mm -hmm. And then somebody comes in and says, oh, no, 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 that's a wrong number. It's actually more. Then you're going to be taxed at a, a, uh, higher. a higher amount. Right. Whether yeah. you're taxed at 25% of the value or 100% mm -hmm. of the value, your taxes are going to go up because your house is worth more. Yes. Makes sense? Yes, makes sense. Right. So that's how that's done. Now, if we go to the top right hand portion of your tax bill it looks at the explanation of taxes and if you see all of those rates per 100 are exactly the numbers that just came off of the one that was struck by, by the, the Middlesex by the County. Middlesex County Board of Taxation it follows right through there uh, and so that's really how um, your total tax bill is is determined um, ultimately though uh, the tax bill that you end up getting is divided into four different pay stubs. Okay. And those pay stubs uh, do change because in the second half of the year, you need to pay for the increase that wasn't charged in the first half of the year because you didn't get the bill yes. until half <laughs> until the year was done. Yes. Right? The other thing, of course, is that the school budget is working on a Jan, a, ju a June fiscal year that's different. That's different. Than a so year. Yes. their bill is mm -hmm. now being um, sort of straddled from one year into another. Yeah. So the second half of the year is always going to be higher than the first the half first of the half. year for both of those reasons. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. And then if you uh, look at the final distribution of those taxes, you could see that clearly um, municipal taxes, the only thing that we really have any control over, represents for the average person somewhere between 18 and 20 percent of the tax bill. It's the only thing the only that thing the that mayor and the council have any control over. Clearly the vast majority of property taxes in it's the township to the is going to the school system. We, we clearly know that that's where we 
place our value, our school system very highly. So that's yeah. where the bulk of the money goes. County tax usually makes up somewhere between 13 and 15 percent of your bill. Mm -hmm. Town about 18 to 20 percent. And the school somewhere between 63 and 65 percent. Wow. So that's, you know, that's yeah. the, the biggest portion. So um, I'm hoping that that's a little that's clear. Very, very clear. Very, yeah. very helpful. And um, next so, time when we do our next segment, yeah. we'll concentrate on our municipal portion. Exactly. And how <laughs> that see. money is utilized, how we make decisions on how we're going to uh, distribute and spend money from the municipal portion, the portion which, you know, I only have, and That's the, the council we has, we have over. any control over. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Same. So uh, I want to thank everybody for listening to this segment. I look forward to you um, uh, as we move on through the series and hopefully make something that's really complicated just a little bit easier to understand. Yeah. See you next time. Thanks, Dee. Thank you.